Cody out to recreation. So I got my Civil War mucket today and uh, taking out here doing a little cooking. And you're thinking, well, Bill, wh why is this significant? What, what's the deal with the Civil War mucket? You know, unlike other wars where, you know, you had, uh, you know, a constant resupply, during the Civil War, you did a lot of foraging and you were kind of uh, responsible for your own food. So if you found an egg in a hen house or you found something, some vegetable, even some corn, whatever, you needed a way to cook it up. And that's, that's what the, uh, the mucket's all about. You got a lid that can't be lost. You've got a bailing wire so you can hang it up for cooking. It does it all. But for the bushcrafter, this is a hell of a kit. These things last forever. And if you can learn how to eat and live off of one of these, you can really do yourself a service. It's a good little training item as well as a, a good piece of kit. Call the mucket. And that's it right there. I'm going to try to get you a good view of that. That's a Civil War mucket, and that's how it's used with the bailing wire. Okay, a little initial testing. The mucket will not work underwater. Uh, so if you're thinking of getting this mucket and using it underwater, it's not going to work. Talking to Ted, he was a Rough Rider, and during the Spanish American War, they also had muckets. That's how long it was in service. So Teddy Roosevelt would have been very familiar with the mucket. You know, it also works good on road trips if you go on a long road trip. Um, I like jumping out of the truck, cooking up a quick meal, and for that, the mucket's just absolutely perfect. So, uh, yeah, again, the mucket, great thing. Um, even at home, you know, I'll find myself gravitating towards it, making tea and that. Can I have some of that tea? Uh, here's some tea that I made uh, with the mucket. You can see that or not, that's just some tea that I put together. A standard tea bag, actually pretty good. Uh, made some tea with the uh, mucket, so yeah. And I'll tell you something, nothing really softens up some hardtack better than your old mu uh, muck bucket. You know, you, uh, you get some hot water in here, or maybe you got a little bacon grease or something, put it in here, and throw your hardtack in there. It really softens it up, makes for a nice little meal. Okay, a little off topic, topic for the, uh, the mucket discussion, but um, I had to show you this photo. Yeah, this is a post-mortem photo that are very popular back in the old days. You usually see them with babies. You don't normally see them with, uh, you know, young adults. This is a young adult. I'm going to guess this girl's about 13, 12, 13 years old. Um, long story short, you have to guess which one, which lady is living, the one standing or the one sitting. And I'm going to get you a zoom in and uh, see if you can guess. Okay, well, it's actually the gal that's... Uh, it's actually the gal that's sitting. She's the one that's passed away, and the one that's standing is is alive. People always ask me, "Hey, Bill, do you really do you really use your wood stove? Do you really cook?" Here's a pie I just made, and I think it's going to come out pretty good. If you could smell this, if we had smell vision on YouTube, what a great smelling pie! Came right out of the wood stove, and uh, yeah, I do really use it. Stay safe, stay warm, stay free.